the 11th MU composited in September 2018 for deployment this year. It's composed of a ground combat element, Battalion Landing Team 35. A logistics combat element, Combat Logistics Battalion 11. An aviation combat element, VMM 163 reinforced. And our maritime raid force from Force Company 1st Recon. After composite, our Marines begin a grueling pre deployment training cycle composed of four major training exercises and multiple unit level training events. The mission of the ACE since we've been here in 11th MU so far has been to maintain a ready to deploy squadron. Uh, we'll take the challenge anytime, anywhere. The mission of the BLT in relation to the MU was uh, we were the first and foremost uh, ground combat element. So we were there to be that frontal assault and make sure that we could establish a beachhead in order for the combat logistics team to come and support us or, or in case of combat where we could uh, locate and close with and destroy the enemy. The mission of the CLB in relation to the MU is uh, providing logistical support, with fuel, water, heavy equipment, you know, power generation, water transport, comm, maintenance, uh, even explosive ordnance disposal. During the workups, working with the Navy in the beginning, it wasn't as easy as I would have thought it was going to be. But uh, honestly, right after that, once we meshed together and we knew each other's jobs, we actually realized that we needed each other a lot more than expected. So once that uh, brotherhood and cohesion came in, uh, we, uh, we understood what our mission was and we worked together to get it accomplished. I used to have this idea that like we work the hardest. No one works as hard as us. And then I saw the air department and when they're not, calling in aircraft and not working the flight deck. They're fixing pad eyes, they're busting rust, they do all the same stuff we do and they do it for longer hours. We have to realize that we are still under the Navy, that us being together, working together, to know each other what each other does is very important on land and sea. I think the integration is very important to the knowledge and the morale and integration with all of us together. What our pre-deployment training cycle did was prepare the MU to be our nation's 911 force, capable of responding to processes from humanitarian assistance to contingency operations. With that experience and knowledge gained, the 11th MU embarked on deployment. The more notable exercises that I believe that we took part in was uh, for probably the junior enlisted, the first notable one was in Hawaii, just because that was the first, uh, you know, here we are, we're on deployment. I mean, we're still in the States, but it was our first introduction to the jungle. We've never been in the jungle before, so that one was uh, kind of a little stressful. Integration with our blue side partners was essential at this time. 
While closely working together, the ARGMU team was able to conduct 22 total theater security cooperation events with 23 partner nations. Each time the sailors aboard the Boxer, John P. Murtha, and Harper's Ferry facilitated the movement of new assets ashore. What that did was showcase the combat power of our blue-green team to all of our partners and allies in the regions we were working in. Our partnership with the Navy was tested and proven by performing operations supporting maritime stability and security in the central the region. Here at the White House announced that the United States, the USS Boxer, has shot down an Iranian drone. Tonight with a new escalation of the conflict between the United States and Iran. Late today from President Trump, the warship USS Boxer took down an Iranian drone in the Strait of Hormuz. The USS Boxer, already on patrol in the Arabian Sea, shot down the Iranian drone after President Trump said it got too close. For the boxer took defensive action against an Iranian drone which had closed into a very, very near distance, approximately 1,000 yards. Our David Martin has learned a U.S. Navy ship may have brought down more than one Iranian drone during a close encounter last week in the Strait of Hormuz. The top U.S. commander for the Middle East told us it now looks like the boxer took down two drones. As always, it was a complex tactical picture. We believe two drones. We believe two drones were successfully engaged. There may have been more that you know we're not aware of. Those are the two that we engaged successfully. This team brought combatant commanders the ability to conduct complex, deliberate missions such as amphibious assaults, precision raids, airfield seizures, and embassy reinforcements.
As a team, we were able to complete each and every task we were charged with, supporting regional stability, reassuring partners and allies, and maintaining a forward presence capable of responding to any crisis. It wasn't easy, but due to your hard work, perseverance, and unwavering courage, our Marine and Navy team was successful in achieving what we were made to do, serve as an expeditionary force to bring the fight to the enemy wherever they may be. I'm extremely proud of you and everything that we have achieved together over the past year. Never forget who you are and what team you're a part of. The name Pride of the Pacific wasn't chosen, it was earned. The 11th View has previously shown greatness in combat and humanitarian operations. You exemplary Marines and sailors continue that legacy and have contributed to what will ensure the 11th View and Boxer Arc are remembered for years to come.